I grew up in the same way, Valley Mother's Crackler first. Then we moved from Valley Mother's Crackler to Pat Valley Martin Palace Kinry. And, uh, and when you got school. started then, how did you get started in, in, the, in, in being a musician? Well, my, my father used to play the old melodeon and he used to play in the farm houses and maybe where they might have the path here and thing. So then he taught me a couple of tunes and uh, after that then I kind of... So there was always music around you yeah. uh, growing up and then you, your father yeah. taught you then? And then I kept going and I, then I played in a couple of bands, like, you know. And uh, so that then, but when I went to London, I did it. Yeah, and would you play a bit when you were over there at the start or...? I did at the start. Yeah. In, in some of the bars some and the pubs around, but you, you weren't doing as much music, was it? I, I didn't do a lot of music and uh, after a little while I kind of packed up the music and for about 14 years, I think, yeah. Everyone knows you in, in Limerick, you know, you're such a, a, a staple in the city now, you know, performing all the time. Uh, and, you know, you're walking down whatever street and you can hear the tune, you're like, Tom's around, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a great thing. But not only are you a musician, you're a poet as well. You've got, some, you've got a CD and a book out. That's um, right, yes. And you can pick them up in, in Limerick. Can you buy them uh, in stores? You can pick the Steamboat Shop in Thomas Street. Okay. Uh, for, the, for the CD? The CD is selling there. Lovely. And Mahoney's Shop in O'Connor Street, the bookstore, they're selling the book. And you have a Monster That's Rugby there. Anthem here? There is a Monster Rugby Anthem. On, on the CD? Monster, Monster, you are my own. Down by the Shannon, free as a bee. Monster, Monster, you so Tom, not only are you known as a musician and a poet, yeah. you always have a joke. So you stop oh. and you tell everyone a joke at some point right. of the day, right. every day. So it was I, your favourite joke. I went to my doctor this morning, you see, and uh, I said, Doctor, I was out with the wife last night. And he said, isn't that very nice? I said, no, doctor, it was your wife. <laughs> so he didn't like that? Tom, how do you want to be remembered? Um, how would I want to be remembered? Um, just that they played a few tunes and uh, maybe write a bit of poetry and whatever, sing an old song. That's how I'd like to be remembered. Good yeah. spirit. Yeah, that's good that's spirit. Yeah. And that it might give someone a bit of a kick, some people are laughing, whatever. Like, you know. And I heard recently pe people thought that you were already, you were already deceased. Did he? Yeah, it was on the radio. I'm sure you got a shock. <laughs> There was a priest that came across the road up in O'Connor Street where they'd be busting sometimes. And he, he was amazed. And he came over and put his hand on top of the head and he must have been blessing me, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was on, every, on the Facebook and all. So this is proof now that you're still live and kicking. And thanks for the kind of That's it. Around 100%. With you. Tom, you're a gent. You're thanks. Great, thanks very much. My name is Tom McNamara and I live in the Mid City. 